This chicken soup recipe is actually the first half of a classic grand chicken consommé recipe. True consommé is seldom seen in restaurants because of both the time involved in making it as well as the considerable cost of ingredients for a small volume of product. As a soup, this is the standard you would expect from a fine restaurant long ago before the invention of packaged mixes and artificial flavorings. So you've got carrot, uh, half a head of garlic, onion, and celery. We're going to cut those up and we're going to line the bottom of the baking dish for uh, supporting the chicken. I'm using a very large stewing chicken and I'm going to remove the breast meat from it, just the boneless, skinless breasts from it. The rest of the chicken will be used for making this. And we've got these pulled off, no skin, just meat. Those go into a container and they're going to be stored in the refrigerator. I'm going to flip the bird over. A heavy pair of shears to break this up. All the flavor can come out of it. Okay, then we've got the back removed. Now, there's a lot of blood and visceral remains here, so this is going to get washed under the sink again in cold water. Try to get all of these little bits of organs scraped off as much as you can. You won't get all of it, but you want to get as lo a lot of it off because this will leave a bloody metallic taste in the final product you don't want. And if the rest of this, a little olive oil to get started, some lubricant here, generous helping of herbs as described in the opening part of this video. So black black pepper. Okay, I'll slap this around. And we load this in with the vegetables and I'm putting the back in upside down. It's been cleaned off but you notice it's still got a little bit of visceral remains but not as bad as it was and now the back is pointing up in uh, kind of anatomy that wouldn't be possible with a chicken that's kind of been turned inside out. And now we're going to put some coarse salt on it, especially in this back. Here's what it looks like coming out of the oven. Yeah, the pieces are so tender now it can just tear them apart with your fingers. Load them in. The back's already cut open, of course. Okay, get the carcass and meat loaded in. vegetables and the liquid that came out of baking, roasting. Heat it up until it starts to come to a simmer again. We're going to add some fresh thyme on top of this. Save this liquid that comes off of this. This has to be defatted. After you pick through it, this is what you have left. Not very much.
It's brown. We're going to have the sherry. Cook it to get rid of the alcohol. We've got the dark meat chicken. A liter of water. And we'll bring this up to a simmer. And if you've made this properly, the next day, this is what you see. There's no layer of fat on the top, and it's gelatinized, but it's not super thick jello. It's like this, and then when you reheat this, this will be great chicken soup. Or you can continue processing this into consomme. If you like my videos, look for my cookbook, now available through Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other internet bookseller sites. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.